Hi guys, it's Red Bad Girl and today is episode 2 of 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil. So the first game and the first episode of this series was uploaded yesterday and it didn't go off to a really good start. We lost 3-2 to Italy and we were 3-0 down but we got two latest goals but it wasn't enough to pull it back. So in, our, in today's episode we will play Italy and we're going to stick with the same team. Even though that's not the team I want, so uh, let's just get this sorted out. So we'll have Welbeck on the left, I think, for this one. We'll have Milner on the right, Chamberlain on the bench. So just take a moment, guys. So, and then, yeah, I think that's going to be the team for this game, then, guys. We're ready to go. These people are not going to be taking part. That, that's including Phil Jones and Matt Carrick. So let's get straight into it, then, guys. Our second game in the group stage of the World Cup. Like we say, we're against Italy. Let's get straight into it. Oh, sorry, not Italy, Uruguay. So let's immediately get right into this game. Um, yeah, we'll win white. So there's the team. It doesn't look like there's going to be Suarez in there. There is a Suarez in central midfield, but obviously that's Mario Suarez. It looks like it's Diego Fall and Abel Hernandez up front. Cavalli playing left centre mid, which is quite strange for him anyway. Let's get shown to this match and then Gio Guay. So straight to the venue, which I'm not sure where this is. So I'm sure that we'll find out in a bit. A little training drill here with Daniel Storage. Let's get straight into this game then. So Uruguay v Italy. Why do I keep saying Italy? Uruguay v England in the second round of matches in the group stage of the 2014 FIFA World Cup Brazil. So let's get straight in to this game. There is Luis Suarez. So let's get straight into this game. Uruguay have now kicked us off. So Diego Forlan immediately tackled by Steven Gerrard. Jackie Elko. Leighton Baines. What can Baines do? We could really do with a win. In this game, obviously, because I mean, we lost our first game to uh, Italy, it's not going to help us because I don't think three points will be enough to get into the last 16. So we could really do maybe go ahead and then start to play a bit defensive. Maybe that will be the plan from here on in. So Uruguay getting their first attack of the game. It's Abel Hernandez. But we get the challenge in, and that's with Lampard. Forward now for um, Milner. Back to Lampard. And it's through here with Danny Welbeck. Welbeck takes the shot and it's on the side netting. Or hits the side netting even. So that's our first chance of the game. And it was the side netting. Muslera trying to find Forlan. And it looks like he won the header but Hernandez there straight to um, us. But now it's Diego Forlan again. They take the shot, it's blocked. They've got it back, we've got it back. And now, well back and run down this left hand side with Luis Suarez on his chase. Oh, we've got past Pereira as well. Here's the run. Oh, we're still going well back. He's, I thought that could have been a penalty there, but it's not. Oh, it's in the back of the net. Wayne Rooney, after 13 minutes, puts us 1 0 up, and now that should put a smile on Roy Hodgson's face. We won the up. And now we can maybe start to control the game. Great stuff there. Here's the replay. What was going on there? I think that actually got a touch off one of the Uruguay players. Yeah, I think it came off the leg of the defender who was just in front of Rooney. Or maybe it was just the way he hit it. But either way, it doesn't matter. 
We've got our third goal of the World Cup, and it puts us 1-0 up here against Uruguay. So what's the plan maybe from here? Maybe um, intercept, or maybe just play it around the back? I don't know, anyway. Maybe we'll try and go for a second first, and Cahill doing ever so well over here. We still got that? Well, at least he did. Cavani is tackled, and now we're through here with Lampard. No one's running down the wing. But well back will change Pereira, I think it is. Yeah, it is Pereira. And just out there. He did well though to do that anyway. But we've got to throw it. Wrong player. Oh no. Or oh, I think we still want it. Oh no. Stuani's got it now. We went off Stuani, we have. It's Rudy in the middle. Can you play one through here to Daniel Storch? He has. Is it 2-0? No, it's not. Can it show to McLara? Apologies, guys, though, because that was actually Milner. I'm trying to keep an eye on the player with the ball instead of looking on the bottom right to see who the player is. But it's Abel Hernandez now for Uruguay. We've, oh no, it's now Stuani. Straight to Gary Cahill. And now what can Cahill do? Oh, he's got round. Godin. Plays one through. And that's not quite going to work. Oh, he's won it back here. It's Cahill still. Put, put one over. Heads. Oh, oh, how is that not 2 0? And that definitely was Daniel Sturridge. So it could be 2 0. But instead, it's still 1. Lampard, can he win the header? Uh, can Bates keep that in? Yes, he can. Oh, great stuff there by later Bates. It's Lampard now. He's still going here, Lampard. Can he put one across goal? Sort of. Oh, I think we've we got it. Oh, not quite there. It's Diego Forlan onto Abel Hernandez. And he's tackled by Cahill. Now Cahill's going on the run again. That's offside, so I'll back off. Even though I didn't touch it, the offside's still given. We've got no choice here than to go long. But it's straight towards the down. Can we maybe attack here? It's Rooney. There's a ball through there for Welbeck. No one's running with him. Oh, he puts one across goal. It is 2 0. It's Daniel Sturridge with the goal. And now we are really in control of this game. We lead you by 2 0. There's Sturridge with his very odd celebration. There's Gerald and Welbeck follow as well. So, having lost 3 2 to Italy, we're now 2 0 against Uruguay. And hopefully, now we can win this game. Maybe we'll get another one as well before half time. We've still got 11 minutes till then. Or they're going it straight to us. We could be through here. It's Daniel Sturridge. Sturridge, is it 3? It is 3 0. Two goals in the space of a minute for Daniel Sturridge. From kickoff, they gave it to us as a clean gift with a very poor pass. And the Sturridge just ran through. Smashes it into the top corner, off the post and in. And now. It could be four or five now. Something else like that would be nice from Uruguay. Very laggy indeed. So we're three nil up, and we've still got nine minutes till half time. This is we're looking in incredibly good shape, and especially say if it says like this, we do meet Uruguay three 0 It should be quite a comfortable win against Costa Rica. They was like one of the worst teams at the World Cup. I'm not sure whether they finished ahead of England though. I'm not too sure on that one, but. We could be through for a fourth here. It's James Milner. Can he? he oh, he, oh, he gets the shot off. And it is 4 0 after 40 minutes. Three. It's basically three goals in six minutes. And now we're 4 0 up. What a game this is turning out to be. Uruguay 0, England 4. A look straight to us again. Can we maybe get through this time as well? Oh, we're through here again. It's Lampard. Not quite there, and now Uruguay, they're not liking the pressure they're being put under. Ever since we went 2-0 up, I've been thinking they're never going to come back from this. So then, the last two goals have just been absolute steals. Rooney, plays one through here, that's a good ball. Put one over, can we get ahead on it? No, we can't. And now it's Rodriguez on the run. There's one minute of added time. 
Nathan Baines. He maybe will get a chance. Oh, he's got Pastuani, and we've got advantage as well. It is half time. What a first half it's been. Rooney opened it at the 13th minute. Two and a minute for Daniel Sturridge. And five minutes later, after Sturridge's second, Milner got the fourth. We've got a quadruple. And we lead Uruguay 4 0 going into the second half. Let's carry on going through. So we kick off our see Sturridge to Rooney, and the second half now begins. Baines, Jackie Elka, Cahill. Johnson, he's tackled here by Rodriguez. Suarez on to Forlan, tackled by Jackie Elka, back to Baines, through now for Danny Welbeck. And what can Welbeck do? He's got all this space down the left hand side, if only he can get past him. I think that was Stuani, and he has done. Welbeck, yeah, just dragging it a bit too far out. Oh, we made them make a mistake. Well, well played there by Welbeck. And now, are we going to mess this up? This no, we're not. And that was Gerard. We don't. Gerard can hit them. Why not? Oh, wow. I was just about to, and then he got tackled. Can we keep hold of it. It's, it's Johnson. It's Glenn Johnson. He's still going. Oh, he is tackled. Can we win this here, maybe? Not quite. Rodriguez on to Cavani. He's tackled. We've got this now. Can we keep hold of it? Play a ball through here for Frank Lampard. Put inside. Run into the middle. We're still going. It's Lampard. And it's played away. Possession up at 40% then. 60% was. But now they're on the attack. Can they maybe get a goal in this game? Gary Cahill. Glenn Johnson. Rooney. Great free ball there, and we're looking in good shape now. Oh, and a bit of a poor pass there, I will admit. Stuani. And now, Uruguay are attacking us here. Oh, how lucky was that there, but we got away with it. Are we away with it? Yes, we have got away with it. And now we've got a throwing as well, just inside our own half. Abel Hernandez is being replaced. By when it finally loads, by Alvaro, I think is how you say his name. Milner, he's still going here. Is James Milner? He got inside, not too bad. He's still going here. Is Milner? Can he get the shot off? No, he can't. And now, Alvaro or whatever, Correa. We've got this here with Gerard. That's him, we know he can hit them. So if we can get in a space for a shot, why not do it? Oh, Gerard's got through here. Let's hit it. Great save there by the keeper. We've still got this here with Rooney. He cuts inside, does he? Yes, he does. Rooney shoots. And it's into the hands of Fernando Muslera. Hopefully, we can win this header. Do we? Mm, we probably did, but we headed it straight to Uruguay's defence, so not the best there. Best thing to do there. Now, I'm going to make a couple of changes now. So let's see who we can maybe bring on. Anyone could come on, I've realised, which is very good. But I think I'm going to bring on Jones for Cahill. And I'm also going to bring on Chamberlain for, not Milner, uh, Welbeck. So we'll put Milner back in on that left. And then I think we'll bring in Wilshire for Lampard. Yeah, I think Lampard. Yeah, we'll bring him in for Lampard. And then there are all three changes. And then we can maybe save some legs for the Costa Rica game because I reckon a point will just about be enough. There's quite a few changes going on for both teams here. Gerard. And now we've got a chance here, but we win it back. It's Jones. He's just come on as a sub, remember? 
and he's tackled there by Carrera and we've got to throw it. So it's Steve G. Plays one up. Not the bestest of balls and we've given it away. Four in one half and none in the second which is quite disappointing. I want to walk away from here. We've at least a five to win but obviously four's okay. I suppose. We're going here with Gerard down the right side. He's caught it inside here, Gerard. He was still going there as well. Which was quite disappointing. And then he gets tackled right at the last second. Suarez. What can we do now? Yes, we've won it back here with Jackie Elka. We play from forward now for Daniel Sturridge. And now it's on to Rooney. What is Rooney going to do with this? He cuts inside. It's Rooney. He has the shot. And he put it wide. That's a sitter missed. Six minutes of stoppage time is all we've got to hang on for, which is easily achievable. And now you require a second here. It's Gonzalez who's just come on as a sub for Cavani. Now it's Pereira down the left hand side. They get the cross in. And a bit of a mix up there between Hart and I think Jones. And it's gone out for the first corner of the game, actually. Is it going to be a poor one? Indeed it is. And now we can maybe attack with this. Mm, not by doing that, we can't. And now it's a f Oh, I thought it was a free kick there to your grab, but no, it's an offside given. And straight to them. We need to win this back if we can. Do we win it back? Can we win it back? Only just. Oh, that was a great ball there for Milner. And now Rooney's running for him. Here comes Wayne Rooney. He, he shoots. Great block there. And now we've got our first corner in stoppage time as well. So Gerard goes short to Jaggy Yelka. And then we'll get on the end of this. Yes, they can. And again, we maybe get run into the box. Oh, we're still going with it. They've got it off us. Quite disappointing though with a goalless second half. Does not really matter because we still got four in the first half. One for Rooney, one for Milner, a double in a minute for Daniel Sturridge. And a very comprehensive win there. And that is the end of the game. Which means that is the end of the episode. We started off with a very slim defeat, but now we are back on top with a 4-0 victory against Uruguay. Costa Rica will be coming up very soon, which we will play. Look at that, guys. We're top of the group. Look at that. All three te all four teams are on three points. How lucky is that? Look at that. All teams are on three points in our group. So there we go then. Costa Rica, anyone can go through now in the group. But Costa Rica are only in third, so they're highly unlikely maybe because of their goal difference. But we're on the game now, which will be played in the next episode, which might be uploading tonight, depending on how much time I have. I hope you've enjoyed this video. What a win it was. Leave a comment, like and subscribe as always and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.